This video has been sponsored by Grand Chase, a brand new mobile game that's actually a sequel to the original Grand Chase. Remember this game? It's got a sequel now. This is a pretty standard anime fantasy strategy game where you pick your party, pick your dungeon, and take out the baddies while finishing the task at hand. You can switch out your team with other summons, purchase new items, and summons with the gold that you earn, and you can get a free summon once a day. There are in-app purchases if you really want to purchase more items, but that's optional, and the game itself is free to download. Overall, this is a beautiful looking anime game with a simple enough gaming mechanic anyone can learn. So if you're interested, check out Grand Chase on Android, iOS, and even on Bluestacks, which is software that you can use to play any Android game straight on your PC. So, top 10 best cliches in anime. That's what the folks at Patreon voted for, but is there really such a thing as a best cliché? Well, here's the thing. I've said before that ideas of every kind tend to repeat themselves. There's no fault in that when we've seen hundreds of stories played out through many centuries. So as authors and writers will come up with an idea featuring their own characters, there's bound to be recognizable elements within the story structure and character arcs that we've seen before many times. To some extent, though, we have no problem with repeated elements and cliches if they are done right. Making a boring story where one girl has to choose between two men is not doing it right. Having a boy trip on a girl and then that same girl labels him as a pervert is not doing it right. Yeah, basically go watch our previous top 10 worst cliches of anime list to get the point here. But are there cliches done right that we actually don't mind seeing time and time again? Absolutely. There are traits and structures that practically define the anime world to the point where we actually like them. Who cares if other shows have these traits to the point where they're now cliché? We love them and we will gladly point them out. Here is Anime America's Top 10 Best Clichés in Anime. Number 10 School uniforms. Many schools throughout Japan have their students wearing school uniforms, which reflects in the anime we watch, even to the point where they're practically a fetish. Anyways, we tend to have our favorite school uniforms that we love to wear as cute cosplay. The uniform from Haruhi Suzumiya, or on High School Host Club, Shugo Kara, and hundreds of other shows have their own recognizable uniform that we just love to look at. Okay, even though I was disappointed by the anime, I still love their uniforms. They were cool, okay? What about you, Sumi? Is there an anime uniform you like? Why is? I like the uniform some extra credit. Extra credit? I don't think I've ever heard- And it's a hentai! I'm not even surprised. Number 9. Yeah, you know what this one is. The Ojo-sama laugh. In a lot of anime, there's bound to be an arrogant lady so full of herself that she would do the infamous laugh. I personally welcome this cliché any day because we just love this kind of character and their laugh, especially the laugh. Not even sorry, it's just funny to us. And fun to do it ourselves. Oh! <laughs> Number 8. So we said in our previous list that beach episodes and hot spring episodes are mostly there to fill in the plot while providing fan service. While this particular cliché fills in the plot as well, it's more of a spectacle to us both culturally and artistically. Festivals. Lots of shows will fill up an episode featuring our characters in colorful kimonos while playing carnival games and eating delicious food. 
kind of makes us all jealous and very hungry watching the festivities. Even though this activity takes up another episode in the series, it's a nice treat for us to see these characters enjoy a beautiful celebration. Now somebody order me some taiyaki because I am hungry here. Number 7. The Delayed Kill Picture if you will, two fighters in a standoff. Whether this is a random duel or a move to finish off their fight, the two stare each other down as we wait for them to make the final blow. Then suddenly, their eyes twitch, their weapons are drawn, and both strike at the same time. Who won? Who was slightly faster while flawlessly killing their opponent? It's mostly the hero, but come on, the delayed kill shot is always a fun cliche to watch. Number 6. Notice something on my face? Yeah, these seem appropriate for this cliche. The Meganes! So the anime world has their own stereotyped characteristics, like the Moe, the Sundere, and etc etc. Out of all these characteristics, we can't help but love the good old Megane. Sure, they seem to be either the nerd type, or the analytical type, and or the confident type, but what is it that makes them special out of all of them? That glasses push. Just... Just the glasses push. Every Megane has a different way to adjust their glasses, which is essential to this characteristic and to the cliché itself. It's a trope that we love to watch and even imitate ourselves. Adjust those glasses, you lovely Meganes, you. Number 5. So, while repeated animation leads to filling up an episode in the easiest and cheapest way possible, we can't help but love anime transformation scenes. While we question how the bad guys can just stand there and wait for the characters to transform, these are still a staple in the anime that we can watch time and time again. Whether these transformation scenes be drawn out magical girl transformations like in Sailor Moon, or the shonen hero transforming into a new form like in Dragon Ball Z, transformation scenes are cool to watch and are practically tradition in anime at this point. Number 4 has given us a wide range in character arcs that makes us interested in a wide variety of characters, whether they be good or bad. But if there's a common cliche in a character arc that we can't get enough of watching time and time again is a villain or rival becoming a friend or ally to the heroes. To see these arrogant characters turn from a hated character to a complex one questioning their own morals and integrity, it's always interesting to see a character expand and grow, thus creating a character arc. The most famous one that comes to mind is the mighty Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta. He was once a horrifying and selfish lackey serving Frieza, only to stand up against that monster who killed his entire people and making… kind of good terms with Goku? and the other people of Earth. One minute he's trying to destroy them all, the next he's dancing on stage trying to protect them all. Fun time bingo! Time to play some bingo! Ole! We are never gonna let that die. Number three. Alright, what's your next move there, guy? Oh, it's going down! It is going down! The opening song is playing! It's it's playing, guys! It's going down! Playing the opening theme song to an epic fight scene. Nothing is sweeter when the hero is in a fight till the end, and when that opening song plays, you know it's gonna be good. When Sailor Moon is facing Queen Barrel, boom! Opening song hits! When Kaneki is facing Jason, boom! Opening song hits! Ryoko transforming into a rocket to catch up to her wicked mother in space, boom! Opening song hits. It's a great way to make a fight scene even more epic, with our characters putting their all to finishing this fight, with the opening theme playing in the background. We honestly can't help but feel such an adrenaline rush just by watching it. Number 2 so as the anime world has a wide variety of characters, do you know what's refreshing to see spark from it all? Opposites attract. 
Characters who have literally nothing in common and come from different backgrounds actually being drawn to each other. The girls from Ray Earth all come from different schools, have different hobbies, and have different backgrounds, but they become really close friends. Konata is very laid back, with Kagami easily getting angry at how lazy she is, but they're still the greatest friends. Genos is a serious hero doing his best, while Saitama is just a hero for fun, but their relationship is comedy gold. The eccentric and hyperactive Haruhi with a stoic and down-to-earth Kion, an over-the-top yet charming Tamaki with a nonchalant Haruhi, and let's not forget Vegeta with, you know, honestly everyone in Dragon Ball Z. These dynamic characteristics clashing and melding with one another can really make a series worth watching even more. And let's not forget the one series defined by the differences between our two leading ladies, Nana. Two women with the same name and are complete polar opposites in style and characteristics end up becoming roommates and forming a lasting friendship. It's relationships like these that convince me to this day that people can put aside their differences just to get along and get to know each other. Despite what social media will say about that, our differences can help us grow and listen. In the end, this is a healthy reminder for all of us to listen and grow from each other's differences, so this cliché will always be welcome in our book. Before we move forward, let's bring up some honorable clichés. Anime sound effects and facial expressions. Anime isn't anime without our overly exaggerated facial expressions, sound effects accompanying the mood, and the typical sweat drop. Anthropomorphic characters. Cat girls started this trend, and we're never going to see an end to these fascinating half animal, half human characters. Avengers Assemble! When all the heroes assemble for one glorious battle, you know it's gonna be epic. Berserk or Insane Mode, when the character loses all control and unleashes an insane amount of power and anger, it's shocking, yet awesome to watch. Dere's, Sundere, Yandere, Himidere, and many more Dere's. Love them or hate them, there's always a Dere type in every anime. Fish out of water stories. Even if the story is told a million times, anime tends to make it interesting depending on who or what that fish out of water is. Overpowered characters with amazing fight scenes. Let the animator unleash their talent and give us insane visuals fitting the characters. Over the top attacks. Unleashing an attack plus naming said attack equals an anime cliche we unashamedly perform at conventions. Come on guys, we've all done Kamehameha. Reacting to food. You can't blame the characters from losing control at the sight of food when the animators make it all look delicious. Seriously, this video is making me hungry. Saying a speech to inspire everyone. There is always going to be that one character who will rise up and say something awesome to inspire the other characters and the audience watching. Hell, we made a whole top 10 list with some of these great quotes. And finally... God damn it, Robin, where's my alcohol? Achy sneezing when someone talks about you. And the number one best cliche in anime is... So, we live in a big, overwhelming world where we feel small and insignificant. We need escapisms to keep these dreaded thoughts out of our mind and to keep us moving forward. While many stories can inspire us one way or another, an easy cliche a lot of anime uses that we honestly can't get enough of is... Zero to Hero. Many anime use this cliché and we'll definitely see more in the future. You have a character who practically feels weak, small, and insignificant. One day, they'll either meet a fateful day that'll turn them into a hero, or they start on a journey to work hard and become something bigger than they could ever imagine. With hard work, determination, training, and facing one fight after the other, our character turns from a zero everyone ignored or teased into a hero everyone admires and praises. Many shows follow this structure time and time again, but it's an essential cliche we need every once in a while. Just change the characters, style, subplots, angle, and animation, and you can use this cliché in any anime and we will watch it. Watching these characters work hard from the bottom only to land on top inspires us to keep moving forward no matter what life throws at us. If Naruto can stand up to all of his bullies only to become Hokage, and if Deku can work his butt off to become a hero despite not having a quirk, then we can handle another day at work and work towards our dreams. 
So no matter how many times we see this cliche, seeing a zero turn into a hero will always be to us the best cliche to come out of anime. Thank you all so much for watching our video. Be sure to tell us in the comment section if you have a favorite cliche of your own, and don't forget to watch our previous list, Top 10 Worst Cliches in Anime, so you can see which cliches we deem the worst. We've actually placed all of our reviews in Top 10 lists into their own playlists, so be sure to check them out just to see if the algorithm system hid any of our videos from you or not. Perhaps watching our old videos will give you extra credit. <laughs> very funny, Sumi. Bitch! That's what you get for hiding my alcohol. Hope you enjoyed Googling hentai. Hey there! If you like what we do on this channel, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. If you wish to support us financially, we do have a Patreon page with numerous rewards to fit your budget. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Anime America, and be sure to check out our other channel, Pop Spectrum. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned, Anime America.